Devontae Adams caught his 14th touchdown of the year in week 14 and set a new franchise record for eight consecutive games with a touchdown. On top of that, he also became the first player in NFL history to have 90 plus catches, 1100 plus yards, and 14 touchdowns in his team's first 13 games. Oh yeah, and he's only played in 11 of them. Join us as we look through the Elite Route Runners tape and break down his record-breaking season. One of the most talked about aspects of Devontae Adams' game is his hundreds of different releases and his ability to beat anyone from the line of scrimmage. But the tape shows a different story. In fact, it shows Devontae primarily uses one release. Seventeen has mastered a technique called the hop release. The hop step is a move offline where the receiver literally hops either inside, outside, or heads up depending on the defensive back's alignment. The goal is to get your hips squared to the DB's hips, negating the defensive back's leverage advantage, and putting them in a position to fail. With his hips square, it allows you to make a move to get inside or outside depending on your called route. With his hips in a free stance, it allows Adams to react to the DB's movements, and it's what Devontae does after his initial release that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL. With the defender squared up, he waits for the DB to make his move, and then counters it. Nothing that Devontae does is premeditated, it's all reactionary. This means, whatever the defensive back does, they're wrong. Think of it like a great crossover in basketball. Devontae sets up his man's hips, and when the defender shows the slightest lean in one direction, he goes the opposite way. And if they freeze, he just blows right past them. As you're only hopping and not driving out of your stance, most defensive backs either freeze or hesitate, waiting to see what you're going to do, or they'll try to press you. In either case, it gives Adams the upper hand, as if he sees a jab coming, he can get his feet in the ground before the punch and make a move. I want you to check out this play against Detroit. The Lions are playing Devontae in a press, but 17 feels what the corner is going to do by hopping up to his toes, jab stepping outside, then giving him a punch as he explodes inside creating a half yard of separation he needs to make the catch. Or how about this one? Devontae is in the slot working on Jeff Akuda. Adams knows he has an out route, but the corner is playing with outside leverage, making the break to the boundary really difficult. But 17 is an expert at putting the DB where he wants them. Adams scores up Akuda with his hop release, and with Akuda leaning inward, he gives a hard jab step inside and makes it like he's about to burst across the field. Okuda bites on this, and this gives Adams enough space to hit him with the crossover, breaking outside for an easy completion. The key with the hop is it doesn't have to be at the line of scrimmage. If the corner is playing five yards off, the receiver has to get themselves a yard off the corner's toes, and then make the hop to get the alignment. This style of release isn't new to the NFL. Players like Doug Baldwin and Chad Ochocinco had it in their lockers, but nobody has used it as consistently as Devontae Adams. Press man is the way to combat this style of release against normal receivers, but Devontae isn't a normal receiver. If you try to press him, he'll get his feet in the ground before the DB can make contact, and his split second decision making means he has already got you beat. Paired with his elite ability to beat anyone off the line of scrimmage, 17 has exceptional route running technique. He can get to full speed in just two steps, stop on a dime, and can make cuts without losing any speed. Look at this route versus the Niners. The Packers motion Marquez Valdez scantly across the formation, revealing zone coverage. One of the Niners' safeties moves down to the line of scrimmage, revealing a likely cover three. Adams runs a hitch here, but look at his ability to get up to full speed in a couple of steps, and then power down to a standstill in less than two yards. There aren't too many knees on the planet that can take that amount of strain. Check out this route against the Eagles. Philly drops back into a cover three, and Adams is running a three-step slant, but look at how clean this break is. He doesn't lose any speed, and the zone defender can't get near him before the ball has been put in his hands. Back in week one against the Vikings, the Packers came out in a trips formation, motioning Devontae from the trip side to the solo side. Nobody on the defense goes with him, revealing his own coverage, and a likely cover three. Devontae doesn't need his hop-step release here, as the corner is playing off, 
but he demonstrates his elite change of direction here. Accelerating to almost top speed in the stem, and losing absolutely no speed in his break. Schematically, the Packers had the right thing called against the defense, making it an easy completion. But Devontae makes sure easy completions are just a little bit easier. This dude does not drop the ball. Devontae has hands like a trawler man's fishing net. Anything near him, and he snags it. His ability to high point the football and catch it with strong hands is next to none. This snag against the Eagles is one of my favorite catches 17 has made this past season. Fourth down, and Adams is facing press man on the one against Darius Slay, with the Packers running a slant flat man beating concept. If you're a defensive back coach, Darius Slay does pretty much everything right. He gets a good jam on the line, and then sticks to Adams like a rash. And once he has his hands on the ball, Slay manages to punch it twice, and Devontae still holds on high pointing the ball and grabbing it with strong hands. That's coaching tape right there. How about this catch versus the Niners on another 4th and 1? The Packers run sprint left option, with Devontae working from the slot. Jamar Taylor plays this pretty well and is all over Devontae. But unless you are absolutely perfect, 17 isn't going to let you get away with it. He somehow manages to trap this ball against his pads, converting a 4th down. To be considered an elite receiver in today's NFL, receivers, and even running backs now to some extent, must have the ability to win from various alignments in the formation. Devontae Adams gets moved around as much as any wide receiver in the league and produces positive results at every spot. Putting Adams in the slot allows more horizontal space towards either sideline and allows him more route options to attack coverage. Adams is working out of the slot on the trip side, running an in route versus Buster screen. 17 hops off the line, then powers as if he's running a slot fade, forcing the corner to turn his hips towards the sideline. As soon as he sees the DB open up, Devontae puts on the brakes and cuts inside, leaving himself by NFL standards wide open. Here on third down, the Packers are on a 2x2 set. Devontae is lined up in the slot on the near side of the field and again facing a corner up close with an out route called. 17 hops off the line of scrimmage, getting his hips squared to the DB while forcing him backwards, and then hits the DB with a quick pitter patter, faking Trey Henderson out of his boots, giving him space to make a fast break outside. And Rodgers can still hit Adams deep from the slot, as he did on the opening play of the Colts game. The Colts earn a cover one single high safety look, giving Adams one-on-one -on -one coverage from a slot fade. Adams hops off the line, gives a little jab inside, creating space to get outside his man, and then accelerates away, catching a beautifully placed ball for a 33-yard pickup. This was almost the same look they got versus the Niners in Week 9. Working against Jamar Taylor, Devontae is going to run a slot fade against the cover one. 17 comes off the line, throws the hop step to get lined up, and as the corner hesitates on the hop step, Devontae puts his foot in the ground and blows straight past him, allowing Rodgers to deliver another strike for a 30 plus yard gain. Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers' timing may be the very best in the league. Combining that with Matt LaFleur's fantastic play sequencing and expert coaching alongside offense coordinator Nathaniel Hackett, Green Bay is consistently putting their best players in the best position to succeed. Maybe if the Packers drafted a receiver, they'd have scored a league leading 440 points as opposed to the NFC leading 434 points that they already have. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments who you think are the all pro receivers this season. Drop us a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel.